I'm a breast surgeon um, and my interest is to be an academic surgeon which is basically doing proper surgical work but combining it with um, so research as well. What inspired me for breast cancer research? Um, breast cancer affects so many women. We know it's one in eight women who get diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, so we all know someone who's been affected with breast cancer. And for me, uh, what attracted me into breast cancer surgery is my patients. Um, during my surgical training, I, I did a term in breast surgery. Felt like that was my niche, to simply put it. I could relate to my patients, um, not just because I'm a woman, but because they are coming to the surgeons as the first point of call. And I'm there with them from the start of the journey throughout their treatment and then subsequently during their surveillance program as well. And that's what attracted me to breast surgery. Then secondly, all these clinical questions are raised in my mind. How can I treat my patients to the best of my ability? Using evidence, that's what attracted me to research. Um, so at the moment, my practice is 40% research, 60% clinical work. Five years from now, for, from a research point of view, I think we need to start focusing on um, more about patient outcome related measures. In other words, women are now starting to live longer with their breast cancer after their diagnosis and their treatment. We need to look at the psychological impact of it and also their satisfaction from their surgery, their chemotherapy and the ongoing anxieties that they may have of the cancer coming back. So this is what we call patient-related outcome measures. And my focus in research is going to look into that. I also want to look at the ways of developing uh, breast reconstruction in a much more, you know, moving away from implant-based reconstruction and look at 3D tissue engineering to reconstruct a breast without having to use a prosthetic uh, material, which increases the risk of complications of infections and loss of implant and leading to a mastectomy with a very poor outcome. So this is what I see the future in the next five years, is hopefully there will be 3D printing, tissue engineering to construct breast, but also nipple as well. I know there's already some research being done at the Wesley with 3D printing for nipple reconstruction. This is the beginning of what's to come. Absolutely. Um, I think not just breast health. I think women, we tend to put ourselves lower down. We always put our kids, our careers, and it's a very, we've got so many competing interests in our lives at the moment. Um, wanting to do academic, your career pro, you know, development, as well as being a good mother or a sister or a daughter. So we often put ourselves number at the bottom. So my message to women out there is to start to put yourself number one because you are irreplaceable and I think once we put that in view I think exercise, diet and breast health everything just falls into place. Um, so my advice to women is monthly self-examination of their breast, any concerns see your GP, um, get on to things early because earlier we detect breast cancer it is definitely curable and it is treatable and that's the sort of patients I want to see with good news and positive outcomes.